Hey guys, I uh, just had this computer dropped off. Customer was complaining that it was overheating. Um, doesn't have any sides on it. He said he had a large fan blowing in on it. So I guess we're going to do a little investigation and try to figure out why it's getting so hot and what I can do to improve it. Um, right off the top of my head I noticed that the back fan is a little a little smaller than I'd like. It's a 80 millimeter. Could go up to a 92, that would help a little bit. Be a little quieter. Um, CPU fan, well it is got some dirt on it. Doesn't look too bad. But if I try to move it, it's really stiff. So I'm thinking that this fan is more than likely shot and that could be the reason that it's overheating. Other than that, and there's some dust up front, but that shouldn't cause any overheating. Um, Airflow is really lacking in this case because it has no front intake fan. Um, I would probably recommend a new case in this instance. Um, problem with that is your power supply cables might no longer reach in a bigger case. So that could be an issue, but it's one solved by a new power supply. So anyways, I'm going to fire it up and see what kind of temperatures we're getting. And then we will... Well, I'll show you that when that happens. And uh, maybe we can replace this fan. I was considering water cooling, but given that it only has a 92 millimeter on the back, I can't really do anything with that. So, I guess we'll check out the temps. Right away, as soon as I turned it on, the fan is barely spinning and is really struggling. So, like that's your problem right there. Wonder if I can find a replacement fan for him. I'm going to. Uh, See what the temps are, though I imagine they're going to get pretty ugly pretty quick. So just booting into Windows, and we're sitting around 57 to 60 degrees, somewhere there. Um, we're right on the edge of getting too hot, and this is without doing anything. So I think it's a safe bet that we should replace that fan, and uh, see if these temperatures improve, because that's too warm for doing nothing. And it's an old uh, Intel Core 2 Quad 2.4 gigahertz. So not necessarily the fastest computer, but see, I'm we're up to 64 now. And we're probably going to keep climbing as long as process usage keeps up. So I'll see if I can find a fan and we'll replace that and we'll see what happens. Okay, well I didn't get to the point of replacing the fan yet. Um, seems I don't have a fan that would work with it. Really, is this had a back plate that I had to remove, so I had to take the motherboard out of the out of the uh, case and um, I'm remembering now why I told this guy that it wasn't worth spending any money on this computer um, let's see there's a capacitor there that's leaking and I also noticed two more right over here you can see the brown on top that is a uh, leaked electrode from the capacitor and so that's not a good sign that'll cause stability issues so I had to take the motherboard out to put the new backplate on I do have another fan that uses those dreaded Intel push pins that I absolutely hate but what are you gonna do that's all I have right now so we'll clean the processor off put some new thermal paste throw the heat sink back on, put the computer back here in the case after cleaning everything up. There's a lot of uh, dust and gunk and hair and you name it. And uh, we'll get it up and running and see what happens. Wish me luck. Okay, the computer's back together after a dust clean out. Uh, obviously along the bottom, especially if you saw that before. It's a lot cleaner now. And of course the replacement fan and heat sink back in. All the wiring is done. Um, oh, except the same set of cable. I'll do that right away. Um, pretty ugly wiring in this case, but there's not much that can be done that ugly parallel cable. The ID cable is kind of ugly and gets in the way. But the airflow should be much better in this case now, hopefully. The new fan is installed. 
So everything should be good. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay, so we booted into Windows. Doesn't look like things have helped that much, uh, if any. Running about 62 to 65. Um, either that's a false reading or um, it's just putting out way too much heat. Um, the positive being that we have a fan that works now, so it will speed up if it needs it. Um, probably going to recommend to the customer that he gets a new case. Uh, or even a used case that has a 120 millimeter fan on the back, and then you can try the water cooling. And if that doesn't bring it down, then clearly there's something messed with the sensor. But I guess that's it for now. Um, I guess I'll update this video after. If you if you see stuff after this, then that means that I've got more to report. Anyways, I'm going to run some virus scans on this and see if there's any extra processes that are causing this temperature to be too high. And I'll let you guys know. Talk to you in a bit. Well, we had some bad news. The water cooling kit won't work on this old motherboard. So, I'm going to upgrade the air cooling. Currently we're at 51, so obviously something was causing temperature to rise, but it's a little better now. We'll see if the new air cooling can bring it down even further. Okay, so there it is installed. I went with a Cooler Master Hyper T2. Now, obviously, it's not the best cooler in the world, and things are a little more cramped in here than I'd like, but it still should be better than the stock. It's definitely going to be quieter. Um, other than that ugly IDE cable in front, I might actually just tuck it up like that. I'll stay out of the way. And you could still put the side on this computer if you had to. So it's kind of ugly, but it's got to be better than what it was. And it's plugged in, and you can still put the side panel on this old computer if you really wanted to. And so we'll fire it up and see what we've got for temperatures. Okay, so now that we're fully booted into Windows, it's running between, I'd say, 41, and highest has been about 46. It's definitely down a couple degrees. Um, and of course, as there's a game being played or something, that the difference will be far, should be far different than what it was before this. Um, and I'll play around with probably the fan speeds and before I give it back to the customer and see if it's any better. Uh, I'll take some settings in the BIOS so I can tweak. But yeah, anyway, so that is the cooling upgrade on this computer. Not the way I planned for it to go, but that's the way it ended up. And sometimes that's the way it is with computers. Anyways, till next time, this is Jason from Divine Hammer Computers. Talk to you soon.